So this is the third time we've made this video. I'm Brad. I'm Krista. The Big Family Homestead. And um, things are a mess, people. Third time? Yeah. Things are a mess, and we don't need to tell you no. um, all the junk that's going on in society. Mm -hmm. What? <laughs> How do, how do you not go insane and actually live life that is productive? And um, so here, we're going to talk about that. Okay. Take care of your family. Mm -hmm. Pray for them. Pray with them. Encourage them. Yeah. We're never going to really affect what the president of the United States does, our decisions, our videos. I know this is going to be weird. I bet, our he, videos, I bet he watches our videos. He's kicking back with his Metamucil, right. enjoying the evening. What? Metamucil. What? <laughs> no, it just, could be any president. I actually visualized that. You visualized it? <laughs> Just clink, back. clink, 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 clink. The orange stuff is not bad. I like it. Have you ever had that? I have never. I've never had that. My mom used to drink it, so I know. What I don't it's even like. know what it's for. <laughs> is it for incontinence? So, okay. I, you know, I. Do we need to have a take for? <laughs> so I don't think that the president of the United States of America is sitting back watching our videos going, you know what? They're right. I should make this change, this change, and this change. I'm not guessing that Xi or Putin or any of those people on a macro level even know who we are. <laughs> Pretty sure they don't. And that's fine. I'm okay with that. But I think what we need to do is be kind to your family, teach them how to pray, pray with them, cry with them. Good Lord, how many people have we lost? I don't care which side of the fence you fall on with all of the COVID stuff. There's a lot of pain, mm -hmm. a lot of loss. Cry with people. Tell them how much you care. That's how you can make real change. You want to know how to stay sane? And I'm talking to myself here. Stop watching so much news. Yeah. You want to know another way to stay sane? Get to know your neighbors and... and Try to like them. We've got great neighbors. That's not a problem for us. Yeah. This is hard because doesn't it seem like everything's just gotten like faster and more intense mm -hmm. in the past? People are not two years. Yeah, people are just they're on. Fast They've forward. made their mind up. They're off, they're fast forward. We need to. You know. Sides. Everybody has a side. Side, side. 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 Yeah, I know. <sighs> and it's like people just chill out. Mm -hmm. You don't have to agree with everybody. And it's not the end of the world. Just don't try to hose them over. <laughs> don't try to be rude and nasty and hate filled. I don't have to agree with everything that Joe Blow five blocks down thinks of me or what politics he has or I don't have. It's ridiculous. I think that if we honestly just tried to deal with our local, our family, our friends, our community, and be kind to them, a lot of this stuff can just go away if we'll stop feeding it. 
You know, this is here's here's a teeny weeny teeny weeny 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 little sermonette. So for those of you who are not believers, it'll be fast and you'll actually appreciate it because you can apply it to your life. But this is I heard this from a pastor a long, long, long time ago. You know, the 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 premise was how do I know like when I'm when I'm struggling with I want to do good, but I don't do good. How how do I know which side of me is going to win? And so the, that was the question asked of the pastor. You could apply it to whatever you want in your life. And the pastor said, well, think of it like two gigantic, big, vicious dogs. One represents the good in your life, and you can call that one, you know, just for the sake of lack of better terms, that one is the white one, the good one, and then you've got this dark, evil one, this this dark dog. And he said, well, how do, you, how do I know which one's going to win? And he said, well, whichever one you feed. Mm. Whichever one you feed, that's the one that's going to win because yeah. guess what? Pretty soon, the other one's going to run out of steam and the other one's going to get a leg up. And it's that way with whatever it is that's in your life, people. It's 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 whatever it is that is, frankly, controlling you. Are you sitting in front of the computer five hours a day worried about what next little thing that people that are on the macro level are doing that you don't have control over? Mm -hmm. Or are you making sure that your neighbor has eggs because you have chickens? that's going to be far more beneficial to you than whatever trade deal happened in North Korea that you have no idea about. Yeah. I'm not saying stick your head in the sand like a, an ostrich either, no. but I'm saying that most of it just needs to just stop feeding it. I'm frustrated. Yeah. I I'm keep frustrated. being told we're all kinds of stuff we're not. Yeah. I'm frustrated for the kids. Because what's the world going to be like when they're adults? Whatever we make it. Right. Exactly. So we need to stop feeding the crap. Yep. Yep. Yeah. I guess this is a frustration and it's also an encouragement. Take a look around, people. It truly is whatever you make it. I don't know. Yep. It's been on my heart. That's all I got. I think I would like popcorn. Okay, we can make popcorn. I don't know. I'm, I'm Brad. I'm Krista. That last part was goofy. The rest was heartfelt. The serious part, right. You have an amazing and blessed day. <laughs>